Still on the NDLEA, the agency has responded to a recent attack on its reputation by Senator representing Kwara South Oyelola Ashiru, dismissing his accusation as a personal vendetta rather than a concern rooted in public interest. The Director of Media and Advocacy for the NDLEA, Femi Babafemi, disclosed this during a press briefing at its headquarters in Abuja on Monday. Babafemi described Senator Ashiru's statement made during a Senate plenary on October 15, where he said, where he claimed the agency was uh, is corrupt and compromised as baseless and defamatory, insisting that it is prompted by previous law enforcement actions involving the senator's associates. The personal house of Senator Ashiru in GRA Ilorin, the capital of Kwara State, had been raided in recent past by the agency, where drugs and illicit substances were recovered, while two of his hates, Ibrahim Mohammed and Mohammed Yahaya, were arrested. Based on credible intelligence and surveillance, which confirmed that the senator's house was being used as a drug joint for drug dealers and users, the house was raided by our operatives at 1.30 p.m. on February 4, 2024 during which the two aides were arrested while a third suspect escaped arrest. In another encounter with the senator, the agency also received intelligence that some of his boys, popularly known as Omo Senator, operating from his hometown of were equally dealing in illicit drugs. A raid was subsequently carried out on their joint in offer, where one of them, Oluwatosin, Odepida. Odepida was arrested and illicit drugs such as methamphetamine and cannabis recovered from him. Going by this backstory, it is deductible that these encounters that the agency has had with the senator must have been responsible for his outburst and unfortunately false allegation, the type that nobody within and outside of government has ever leveled against NDLA before. This same agency that he wrongfully got into the headline as the most corrupt government agency in Nigeria is the same agency that has been receiving accolades from local and international bodies. NDLA since January 2021 has been on a journey of reforms and so far we are glad with the progress we are making. We are grateful to the federal and state governments for the support we have been enjoying. We are equally grateful to the National Assembly for the huge support they give that has made possible the turnaround of NDLA from a dormant agency to a vibrant government organ.